All right. Rick Goley, what I would like to know over here is that this is uh, the symbol XOXL, and it's a daily chart. What does this represent, sir? And how would the, other MMTs identify it? The L would represent the long in the semiconductors. SOXL would be long, or the bear, I'm sorry, or the bull for long. Okay, so you got a bull, SOXL, and always just with the symbol L, you know it's a SOX long. Okay? That is correct. So, having said that, Let's take a look at the bear and how we would identify that one. Okay, now we have the SOX with an S1 daily on it. Can um, you tell me what that means, uh, sir? Yeah, the S SOXS would be just the opposite of the L, so that would be the, the semiconductor three times short ETF, mm -hmm. which would be the bear. Okay, so basically, could you tell me, um, in a trade like this, you, can you sell short this ETF when it goes down in value, sir? Not only can you, but you should. Well, you should. And go, and go long the other. So down here at this bottom, which is your daily bull, here's your daily bull now. And this is your bear right here. So here's the bear, so you can short that. And uh, Leo, could we go long this now that you're a new MMT? So if I'm breaking down right up at these tops five days in a row and I'm breaking out five days here, I get paid twice, right? There's a nice confirmation qualifying green bar at the bottom there that would okay. tell us time to get in. It would because if this is failing up here, then this is going to get net long and you're getting, you're using the big down bar for weakness. See the two big down bars? And you see the two big green up bars. That's what you're associating with, Leo? Right. And then there's that volatility pop uh, on the red bar there and then the green bar on the short. And uh, then we know that it's going to drop down or drop or pop up to the teeny line where we can enter. That's exactly right. So right, I've been listening. <laughs> if we are selling the diamonds that go down in value, see how the diamonds are going down and, the, and everything else goes down. But And you see how these diamonds are rising. Indicator. Right, it's a proprietary indicator in the market maker platform that you've been using. Do you find it quite accurate, sir? Yes or no? Well, right on the money. Okay. And I do big money. <laughs> <laughs> yes, it is directional price movement. Is that what we've come to conclusion with? So if I'm getting a directional price movement and weakness here, I make money. And if I get a strong reversal going the opposite way I'm long and I get to make money as well and is it factual Leo never seen it miss uh, okay now for anyone else here um, will if you're available do you see the directional price movements and how weaknesses build in the red bars and then that teeny up is just a uh, electronic robot per se in the ECN pricing that pops it up two teenies but makes lower lows and this is putting in the bottom see these two red green bars are just like these two red ones here so if I was to blow this up a little bit more with my spyglass and this is how you use them MMTs okay and you can see that big explosive move up there you can see how nice these green bars were setting up as just the very opposite if I blow these up over here because the beautiful thing about your platform is that you can clearly see the full picture right here 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 you go they're all right here now Rick Goley and Leo and Craig and Fritz if it's okay, and Mr. Flag, one thing that we're never going to uh, ignore is where weakness builds in downside or downward price action. But most importantly, MMTs, is that there are those ECN pops, two teenies up, but then the qualifier is that red bar is there with the gap below half of this bar, and you're on your way down, and vice versa. 
MMTs over here in price action. We're going to work our way up. So we get the the negative, this negative weakness in here as a short now, and we get we we, we verify here that teeny expansion, teeny contraction going down in value, and teeny expansion going up in value. This is this is how you want to see bottoms put in. And these are tops. They're, they're the opposite here. And it's very clear. So do you feel that you could gauge a market by understanding whether it's this very bear or bull versus any other ones that you will be trained in your yearly apprenticeship, as you all are? Do you find this valuable, everyone? I, I didn't hear from Craig. What have you learned today? if you don't mind talking about it. If you're off and gone for the day, which I don't see you there, then we'll ask it's Mr. Flagg. What do you, okay, who was just gonna speak up? Uh, it was me, Will. Uh, All right, it's, so, it's totally clear to uh, to anyone here, because uh, trading on the, on, on the MMT platform, uh, we got, <coughs> you feel like, You've been flying or uh, navigating a boat without a compass because those diamonds give you all the directions in the market and also uh, it shows you all the moving average, pretty much uh, all the volatilities, uh, the volumes, all that. that it, it, all, it all gives you confirmations. Right. So when it does, doesn't it? And we know that by making, we know that most public people will never know how to make this transaction or this transaction. We know that because a lot of people don't look at these things, right? And or they just don't know the mechanical parts where the platform does the work for us. Is that what I'm hearing? Yes, absolutely. Because this is not uh, your uh, average technical analysis. No, not at all. No. This is a totally different beast. Right. And each one has everything that it needs. It has its info panels down here for you. Okay. And it has your data that you're going to get. And you just raise them up and you can see where you're at at all times. So it is exactly what you said, Will. It is. It, it's really showing you that there is two sides to every coin. On one of the, this, this is a certain one. It's this is the bear Sox ETF, and this is the bull. This is the L, the long, as Rick Goley said. And so you can trade this intraday or daily, because when they're going to move up, we're going to see if they have options on calls and puts here in both of them for options. Because if you're trading that long. And you're trading this long in here. Let me pause one second now. Let's break. There's another one called the SOXX because you can be long that too, right? So let's take a look at the. Let's take a look at that one. Hold on. Here we go. So, Mr. Goley, if you knew what this is, which you do know what it is, can you explain to me what this is in relationship to the SOXL and the SOXS? which is right here. SOSX is a short and a long. And Correct. this is now the the SOSX is what, sir? Uh, the SOSX is actually the index itself. It's not three times, but uh, it does correspond with the semiconductor index. So let me ask you to be safe that right here, this is called the SOX.X, and that's all of these combination of stocks that's in that index right here and that let me go correct. back and pull up the charts again Rick Gulley now go ahead and continue on about this breakout on the SOX we already know what it's related to and how is it going to play its role with the L which would be the long uh, ETF and how it's going to play a role with the S which is the short ETF and how many positive debits can be traded within the actual price action movement so we know that we have that SOX right there and we also know that the long one which is the SOXL goes up and up so 
go ahead and explain the relationships, if you would, and why you would be making those transactions, getting paid three times, and you are taking directional movement. And does it just work on this, or does it work on several? It works on several. And why just get paid once when you can get paid three times or more? All right. So if I'm going long here, which is in the video, this is the XL, and this is the X, this is the S, this is the short. So that breaks out, the short goes down, and here's the socks itself breaking higher. So you got two longs and a short working all within directional movement and rather it's in this one or many 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 others that SMF covers we cover all of these bears and these bulls and these sector indices how to trade them long how to trade them short now is there anyone that hasn't learned anything today on Independence Day I actually have learned a great deal it's okay. been a great day it this has. has been a great class it has because now what has to happen is that these are daily movements and we know that they're daily reversals and they're different than outside of your intraday market making skill but understanding that these apply to major bottoms on indexes like the SOX that didn't want to go lower the S&P didn't want to go lower we got a five-day rally it's a fourth of July it's a great time and it's a great time to move forward in my view as to knowing that if I'm getting a bottom over here and I'm getting a top over here I'm going to be able to adjust my risk as to which if something isn't working I'm going to I'm going to be able to really have a lower risk tolerance right because if I'm getting short over here and it's working my risk of this long over here it, it's going to go up in value they're not going to go together one's going up and one's going to go down and one's going to go up and we're going to move on to the next lesson and this is a special premiere not just for the current MMTs but rather this was done on a three minute level a 15 minute level a 60 minute level and naturally your daily level as how price action is accumulated at a bottom when markets did not want to go down that that had a five-day rally consecutively day after day and another thing about market bottoms in public analysis five straight up days in one direction is in their view a beginning of a new bull rally but listen that's their view our view will remain right here in these charts MMTs and the directional movements will also create the price movement one way and the other we're going to know where the markets are and not only are we going to have this index and so we got the we got the end uh, sector and I see the socks we've got the the long ETF and the short ETF they're all three right here in this very video MMTs and the thing about it is we're going to do several more we're going to be very well diversified MMTs. We're going to be diversified to sectors, to risk, to which directions markets may or may not want to go. It's going to tell us where the public buyers and sellers are. It's going to tell us where their sentiment is. It's also going to tell us the strength of the sectors by understanding where that net net strength or weakness is in directional movements so that we can equal liberal you know get get the equal price of everything so we know exactly where and how to handle the July earnings season July 11th 2011 is when the earnings season is going to kick off there's going to be lots and lots of big risk for investors and traders out there in the world and whatnot and the thing about it is we're going to monitor what their risk is and their behavior when they wanted to be net long and things didn't want to go down at the bottom anymore that's the time to get long and I'm going to tell you that was the time to get short in directional movements it went one day then it made its third day down 
It made its third day breakout, its third day uh, reversal down, and its third day breakout over here, MMTs. And the thing about it is, once you get past three days and you are holding higher levels in your MMT, meaning that those altitudes are elevated higher, that means that it's strong, extremely strong in price. And you have to know when to let your winners run. And there's only one way of doing it. The weaker this gets, the stronger that these upside moves will happen. Not only that, we have options that we can apply an option to this trade on the long. We can trade options on the socks going higher in long and puts. Long and puts on all of it. So, yes, you get paid three ways in this directional movement, but you can add on three more debit possibilities in the trade, and it could be you have six potential ways, and we're going to go into the next phase into the options training with these three components along in your general components that you need to be able to successfully monitor risk in markets and what the public buy and sell tape is all about, especially during the earnings season.